What's up, Blue Strength? It's Mighty here with another video on exercise form. This time, what we're going to be doing is a overhead pull. So this is going to be a little bit different because when we do this, this is one of the only ones that we need a partner to be able to do it with. But I'm going to show you it without a partner. So I'm telling you that you need a partner, and then I'm showing you without a partner. A little contradictory, but you'll see what I mean as we go into it. So normally, a row happens here at this angle. In the case of using a band, we have the bands around our feet, and you're pulling in like this, you would have your row there. An overhead pull, we typically do when we're doing a pull-up here, or when we're doing a, if we're working out in the gym, and you have one of those pull-down bars, and there's a weight stack that goes up and down, and you're doing this row here, or sometimes underhand like this. So in order for us to do that, we need the resistance to be coming from an above position, or we need to be angled out of a low position. So the way that we do this with partners is when we're facing away with our partners, we bend forward at the hips and let our arms go out like this, then we can do this downward pulling motion. This is one of the best motions for the back muscles, specifically the lat muscles that come through here. If you look at the back, they come out from the spine, they go out through here, and they insert on the back of the arms. So they are the ones that do this motion, pulling you straight down. Now because your elbow is bending, your biceps and your forearm muscles also have a role to play in there. So you will sometimes feel this in your arms as well as your back. And this is the pulling motion. It's not necessary for your elbows to be all the way back as you pull here. That's something that people commonly do, but it's actually something that we warn against because in this position, it creates a tense, uh, it, it creates some tension in your capsule at this joint, at your shoulder joint. And the more you rotate back like this, the more tension there is there. And then once you start moving up and down under tension, it can create some serious problems at your shoulder joint. So in general, we don't say to go from this position. We'll say to go from a little bit farther forward. That releases some of that tension and your joint is not as impactful. So you have your position here. Your forearms want to stay parallel, uh, perpendicular, I should say, to the floor. Pulling here, you're not bending in your wrist. And you're pulling straight down until your elbows go into your side. Again, notice I'm not pulling down here. We're pulling down here, keeping my forearms nice and alignment, pulling straight like this. Resistance is here, pulling down here. Now, if I'm doing it with a partner, like we do with our resistance bands, or here, I'm doing the same thing. Pulling in like this. I don't need to be pulled all the way back like this. My elbows are a little bit forward of my shoulder. My back is flat in neutral spinal alignment. And I'm pulling down like this. What I'm doing with my hands in this is actually significant for this exercise because it affects how it, it uses my arms. If I'm pulling with the palms up position, this is going to focus more on my bicep. If I'm pulling from a palms down position, you'll find you're weaker in this a little bit because it's focusing on your forearm and your forearm muscles are not nearly as developed as your biceps. So this is going to be harder than this. If you saw me doing a pull up, a pull up underhand like this is far easier to do than an overhand grip like this. And the difference is not the back muscles. The back muscles are exactly the same when you pull like this or when you pull like this. The difference comes from whether you're using your forearms in this palms down position or your biceps in this palms up position. As you pull like this, this is stronger than this by far. So if we're doing a motion where we're doing like a pull up position, you'll find strength here and still strength here, but not quite as much. So you'll see us do both of those things as we do in our exercises in our class. Sometimes I'll have you pulling like this with the palms down position. And sometimes I'll have you pulling like this with the palms up position. And again, you'll notice more strength in this position. And that is how you do a pull down. 